video. This tutorial is going to be inspired by Jennifer Lawrence and her new movie that's coming out Friday, September 21st, The House at the End of the Street. Have y'all seen the trailers for this movie? OMG, it looks so scary and Lee wants me to go watch this movie and I know I'll be the one ruining the entire movie for the theater people because I will be screaming my butt off. So it airs on Friday, September 21st. I'll be posting the update on my blog channel. So if y'all wanna know how that went, go to my blog channel uh, once it airs and I'm gonna go watch it. Here's a mini clip of the movie. If y'all want to watch the full trailer, click right here and you can go ahead and see the full trailer for the house at the end of the street. Looks really, really scary. So I'll be going with Lee. Y'all make sure you go with friends. And let's get this tutorial started. I'm starting off by taking my brush and applying a thin layer of primer all over my eye and a little bit under the eye as well so that the eyeshadow adheres to the skin better and there's no creasing. I'm going to be taking my Marabella Black Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because it's blendable at the same time. And I'm going to be creating the shape of uh, the look that I'm going for. So I'm kind of following the shape of my eye in some way until I get to the outer corners, creating a cat eye effect and making sure that they're even on both sides. And you can just adjust this according to the size of your eye. Jennifer Lawrence is using a much darker eye on the outer corner, so I'm just going to be shading in the outer part of the eyeliner, and there's really not a lot of blending going on on the, uh, on the top past the crease. So I'm just shading this in so it's darker on the outer corners than it is in the inner corners. Now I'm taking Marabella Steel Eyeshadow Color, which is a black shimmery tone. I'm placing it heavier on the outer corners and slightly lighter on the inner corners based on the look that she has on screen so you want to go ahead and just adjust this if you want to to your eye shape this is a big trend for fall and winter I'm not blending it past that line that I created just because she does not blend very much on this look so I'm just going to move forward and do the other eye then I'm taking my Marabella crease brush and applying a brown color on the outer corner. She does have this area a little more blended when she's on screen, so I'm just lightly blending a little bit of brown on the outer corners. Using my Marabella eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be placing the eyeshadow Stella, which, which is a shimmery white tone eyeshadow right in the inner part of the eyes. Using a large eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking just a matte white color and placing it as my highlight and making sure that my eye liner or eyeshadow looks very sharp and not blended. Using the same Marabella eyeliner in smoke, I'm going to be placing this on the outer corner of my eye a little bit darker and then lightly bringing it into the inner one third. I'm also placing this eyeliner on my waterline and I'm not bringing it all the way in, just about halfway. Then using my Marabella small crease brush, I'm going to be applying my black eyeshadow that we used earlier to blend out the outer corners and lightly blend the inner part. You wanna be very light handed so that it creates a nice smoky effect. Now I'm going to be lining my lid and you want to get as close to the lashes as possible. This is just to create that um, look that she has going on and making sure that we get as close to the look as possible. On my lips I'm just placing a very pale lipstick and you could just wear chapstick if you like for this look. Alright, so this is the final look. I left my lips very natural looking only because that's what she has in her look. Um, no, nothing too crazy. Maybe some chapstick and a pale lipstick uh, just to take off more of the pink tone. Um, but yeah, this is the look right here. I really ended up loving it. It's definitely a fall trend. So this is very helpful for those of you that want to have a pretty cool trendy look to go out with. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all go and watch the movie. Let me know how it goes. I'll be posting an update 
update on my blog and I will see y'all later. Thanks so much. Bye.